Mendeley is a free reference manager and academic social network that can help you to organize your research, collaborate with others online, and discover the latest research. These are some features that I'm going to show you in the Mendeley. So after you have downloaded freely from the Google, you will be able to install this for free in your PC. Then after you have installed, you will need to register. You can use your personal email to register Mendeley account. Once you have done registration, then you'll be able to open Mendeley anywhere. You can get connected to the Mendeley and retrieve back all your articles online. Mendeley is a very useful tool that can help you to organize your articles. Imagine if, let's say, you have 80 articles at zero, 80 articles, and you will need to do citation in your write-up. For example, this is your write-up, and you will need to do citation. What you are going to do normally is that something like this, let's say educational technology, it's important to many universities and then you are going to do citation for example Albert 2020 and after that you have to do your reference list manually like this Albert Lim published in 2020 in the Journal of Education and this is volume 1 and then page 30 to 35 for example what if you have 80 references you will have to do it manually so what Mendeley can do is to automate this citation and also to insert your bibliography automatically you can insert your articles from the watch folder let's say if you have stored all your articles under this folder then you can set this as a watch folder whatever articles that you have updated into this folder will automatically import it into Mendeley okay or actually you can add one by one manually let's say I have actually downloaded some articles from here so I can insert it into Mendeley now when you close this Mendeley here in this PC in the future you can also retrieve back your articles whenever you log into your account so when you click on one of this journal on your right hand side the panel here you will be able to see all the details the journal the name the year of publication the uh, volume issue and also pages if let's say you have a missing information here what you can do is actually search it in the internet and try to find this in uh, information and fill it fill in the blanks Okay, so once you have imported all your articles here, what you can do is actually to insert it by using uh, Mendeley into your Microsoft Word content. First thing first, you will have to go to Tools and install Microsoft Word plugin in order to link Mendeley and Microsoft Word together. So I've already installed Microsoft Word plugin and let me go to Microsoft Word and I'm going to delete this because I don't want to do it manually and let's try to insert by citation by using Mendeley you'll have to go to references and you'll be able to see the tool the features of Mendeley here under Mendeley Cytomatic okay so for example if let's say I want to insert citation you will be able to see a pop-out and then go to Mendeley or you can actually drag from Mendeley to Microsoft Word so let's say if I want to insert this, then click on site. Then you'll be able to see this article has been cited in this article uh, in this write-up. Okay, now so let's say I have another sentence. Okay, many lecturers are using online technology in their lectures and tutorial classes and actually i get this from another publication so i will need to insert the citation go to mendeley and choose 
the appropriate article, press cite, then you'll be able to see another paper appear. After you have done everything, okay, to insert the bibliography, you just need to click this one button and everything will be done for you. You will have two articles here. An additional information for your, for your information, let's say if you have 80 articles imported into Mendeley, you don't have to insert 80 articles here because you're not going to use every single article in your write-up. Mendeley will automatically take the cited article and generate the list automatically. So if you are using, if you have cited two articles, you should have two corresponding references in your reference list. And the reference list also can be formatted accordingly. This is the style that you can format. Let's say if you are using Harvard referencing, then choose Harvard referencing. So basically, that are the functions or features of Mendeley and how you can actually make use of Mendeley in organizing your articles. Now let's look at Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word also prepares certain uh, the similar functions. You can manage the sources. And under Manage Sources, you'll be able to add in new article, new sources by clicking this new. And then you can fill in all these blanks, which is quite manual and troublesome. Okay. Once you have done, click OK, then you will be able to see the new list here. Then you can copy this list into your current list to be used by this document. Then you should be able to insert this whenever you want to insert citation and also bibliography.